Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vladimir Kravnik and Anish Giri. This game was played in Norway in 2017. Kramnik had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Kramnik loves this move. d5, d4, knight to f6, and now e3. Going for the call opening. Maybe. e6, bishop to d3, c5. White move. Two most played moves in this position are c3 and b3 in both cases aiming to stop black's c4 move kramnik castled kingside allowing c4 and he replayed c4 however the most played move in this position is knight to c6 but c4 is very tempting and giri played c4 bishop to e2 b5 b3 Bishop to b7, white move. a4 is the most often played move. Kami played knight to c3. A strange looking move. Allowing b4, tempting b4. Knight to a4, c3. And black has a space advantage on the queen side. White move. Kramnik was putting a bet on his white horse, which is not from the revelation. Black to move. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Giri played bishop to d6, attacking the knight and intending to castle king's side. Not the best move though. Queen to c7 would be a better move. And if now a3, then a5, bishop to b5 check, then Black has knight to c6, and black is ok. Back to our game. Bishop to d6, a3, a5, bishop to b5, check. And knight to c6 is not available now. Giri played king to f8. Of course, knight to c6 doesn't work, the knight takes on c6. What about knight from b to d7? Then knight takes on d7, knight takes knight, knight to c5, bishop takes on c5, d takes on c5, threatening c6. Rook to c8, a takes on b4, a takes on b4, bishop takes on d7 check, queen takes bishop, queen to d4. And white is better. Back to our game. King to f8, losing the castling rights. Knight to c5, queen to b6, knight takes on b7, queen takes on b7, queen to e2 defending the bishop on b5. Giri played g6, intending king to g7. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Kramnik played e4. What is the purpose of this move? Kramnik is sacrificing his pawn in order to activate his dark squared bishop. Knight takes on e4. If king goes to g7, preventing bishop to h6 check, then knight takes on f7, and after king takes on f7, e5, and white is winning. Back to our game. So after e4, we have knight takes on e4, Bishop to h6 check, king to e7, f3, knight to d2, rook from f to e1, king to d8. White move. White played the move and black resigned. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Kramnik played bishop to f4. Gary resigned in a position beyond repair. For the entertainment purpose, let's play a few more moves. Perhaps a random move to see what is going wrong with black's position. The knight takes on f7, bishop takes on d6, and after knight to d7, queen to e3, let's say knight to f6, 
queen takes on c3 and where is the knight going but let's go back how about placing the bishop on a safe square then bishop to g5 check and after king to c8 bishop to f6 rook to g8 bishop to e8 and i guess we can stop here what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now